What's the difference between marketers who use ChatGPT like a search engine and those who use it like a sophisticated business solution? They understand the advanced features that separate the power users from everybody else. And you don't have to be a coder to use them today. Look, I know you're already using ChatGPT, probably every day, but here's what's most likely happening. You type in your question, you get your answer, you copy and paste it somewhere else, and then you start it all over again tomorrow. It's like having a Ferrari and only driving in a first gear. Meanwhile, other marketers are having their competitor analysis delivered directly to their inbox every morning, automatically by ChatGPT. And here's the frustrating part. They're using the exact same ChatGPT account that you have, same subscription, same access, completely different results. The difference isn't that they're more tech savvy. They just know about advanced features that people scroll on past without ever noticing. The same ones that flip the script so that ChatGPT starts working for you. In the next five minutes, you'll discover how to unlock all of them. And more importantly, how to use them to transform the way you run your marketing. Some of these will save you hours every week. Others will give you insights that you'd normally have to pay a consultant hundreds of dollars to get. Let me start with the secret that's going to change the way you use ChatGPT forever. And 90% of users don't even know this one exists. You know that frustrating moment when ChatGPT gives you something that's close to what you want, but it's not quite right? Most people type, try again, or make it less formal, but there's a much better way. Let me show you how. When you prompt a ChatGPT and you're not happy with the outcome, instead of prompting it again, all you have to do is hover over your original prompt, look for the little pencil icon to edit the original message. Just click on it and retype your prompt and then hit send. Here's why this is so powerful. When you edit the original prompt, it keeps the whole conversation cleaner, making it less likely that ChatGPT will get confused later on. It also gives you a more powerful prompt that you can copy and paste and use for later. It's important because little changes can make a big difference. Rather than being lazy with your prompts and continue refining it, you actually get better and better at your prompting game. And before long, you end up crafting master prompts on the first try. Bonus tip, you can actually scroll backwards and see all the different prompts you've had and experimented with before. Here's an example of how I use it all the time. I often dictate ideas for ChatGPT with my phone to create into social content, but oftentimes it doesn't quite get the angle that I was hoping for. So I just go back to my edit prompt button, give it the angle, and then it creates it again. So here comes my second secret. This secret is going to change how you think about ChatGPT's capabilities. ChatGPT can actually access and pull real-time data to make your results better. You can grab live stock prices, current weather, breaking news, and even market trends. Here's an example. How will the weather forecast this weekend impact my outdoor staff retreat in the Smoky Mountains? Let's see what it says. You can see that it's searching the web and then bam, it's already given me an up-to-date weather forecast of what's going on in the Smoky Mountains this weekend. So the weekend overview looks fair and sunny, great for our staff retreat. You can even ask about what's trending in your industry or your competitor's pricing. Shh, it's all fresh and real-time intel. This next one is going to blow your mind. You can actually schedule ChatGPT to do things for you automatically. We're talking daily competitor analysis or weekly industry reports all happening while you sleep. This feature is quietly rolling out and most people don't even know it exists. This feature is hidden at chatgpt.com slash tasks. Or you can remember to tell ChatGPT to turn any prompt into a task, but remember to include instructions of the frequency you would like it to run the task app. So I'm at chatgpt.com slash tasks and you have to go and either click one of these examples or click try your own. Here, I'm just gonna enter the prompt, can you give me a briefing on AI news each afternoon and click run. You can see that I wasn't quite specific enough, so I'm gonna say, turn this into a task. Before you do this, it's important to understand that you need a paid account for ChatGPT in order to do this so that you can use one of the reasoning models. I'm gonna run this from the 04 mini model, though you can use any reasoning model to run a task. And I'm going to ask, can you give me a briefing on AI news each afternoon and click send. Now the reasoning models will take just a few seconds to think about it in order to schedule the task. This one thought about it for five seconds and then scheduled the task like so. You can even say, turn on desktop notifications if you wanted to remind you. You can manage your task notifications in your profile settings under notifications. You can also view all your tasks at chatgpt.com tasks.
Here's how I use this. I have it track upcoming events in my industry two weeks in advance so that I could create social posts ahead of time before my competitors have a chance to catch on. ChatGPT delivers the results to me every single Monday morning so I can get my work done faster. Think about it. What would you wanna know about every day, week, or month? Competitor moves, industry trends, customer sentiment? Now imagine never having to remember to check those things again. I'm about to show you a feature that will blow your mind and has real world application that most people have never heard of. But here's the thing. If you wanna go way beyond these AI secrets, you need to master advanced AI strategies. Techniques that successful marketers are using to stay competitive and work smarter. And that's what happens when you join the AI Business Society from Social Media Examiner. This isn't just another AI membership. It's a community of business owners sharpening each other every day in a place where we're mastering AI marketing together. Remember Lisa Conda said, joining the AI Society was one of the best decisions I've made. The quality of the training offered is the best I've experienced and from an organization that I can trust. AI is changing all the time and there's tons of overwhelm. We actually take everything and narrow it down for just the things that you need in order to stay ahead with your business. Check out the AI Business Society via the link in the description below. It's a 30 day guarantee, so there's no risk to you. Now let me show you the two features that feel the most like science fiction. This next feature is so advanced that it feels like having an expert in your pocket 24 seven, 365. I'm talking about the live vision mode inside of ChatGPT's advanced voice mode. Most people don't even know that advanced voice mode is in ChatGPT. It's an advanced conversation feature where you can actually talk to ChatGPT in real time via audio. But here's the secret within the secret. You can actually turn on your camera so that ChatGPT sees exactly what you see. Let me give you a demo just to show you what it actually looks like. I'm talking to ChatGPT and it can see me. You can see. Here's my film crew. <laughs> and I'm gonna ask it, ChatGPT, what am I holding up right now? It looks like you're holding a small black device, probably some kind of wireless transmitter or a battery pack. ChatGPT, I don't know what this battery is for. Can you tell me? So from the shape and the design, it looks like a camera battery, possibly for a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. Do you remember if you used it with any camera gear before? Could you look at the model number and tell me which one this works with? Sure, I see the label says it's an NPF 970 battery, which is a pretty common model for a lot of Sony camcorders and LED light panels. So if you have any of those, it probably goes with that. And ChatGPT got it totally right. It's a battery we can use with one of our film set lights or one of our Sony cameras. I've used it for everything from diagnosing why my website isn't working, to fixing my car, to identifying weeds in my own garden. By the way, you can even show this thing your screen on your computer and have it analyze data with you and troubleshoot anything that you're looking at on your computer. It's by far the closest thing to having an expert standing right next to you. And it'll show up at 2 a.m. in the morning. Here's a feature that solves a problem you probably didn't even realize you had. Let me introduce you to temporary chat mode. Sometimes you want ChatGPT's help, but you probably don't want it to remember the conversation. Maybe you're working on a sensitive project, maybe you're showing a friend how ChatGPT works, or maybe you're just working on a project you don't want stored in ChatGPT's memory. That's where temporary chats come in. It's like having incognito for AI. When you're in ChatGPT, just scroll to the upper right hand corner and you'll see a dashed icon that when you click it, turns the conversation bar black. From here on out, anything you talk about with ChatGPT will be stored just temporarily in the conversation and will not be captured in the long-term memory. Once you close the chat, it's gone forever. It's a small feature, but it gives you complete control over what ChatGPT remembers and what stays private. These hidden ChatGPT features will make you feel like you have superpowers. But here's the thing, even with these amazing features, you're only as good as your prompts. In my next video, I'm gonna break down how to get ChatGPT's responses to sound like they came from a high-end consultant without the complex prompts. No AI wizardry, just one simple shift that changes everything. Click or tap the screen now, and I'll show you exactly how to make it happen.